Hello, in this video I'll show you how to filter products in one product category. So we are in the product category man and, and we want to make filtering of the products uh, just inside of this category. And we don't want a redirecting to any another page, just working here. And in filter, we won't look on the actual values for this current category. Look, let's create this checkbox. We stay into the same categories. Let's select black. We stay into the same category. So, I'm going to show you how to realize this. So, for this, we have to install this this free plugin widget logic we have to create in our site two uh, widgets so why two because one it will be for your shop and second will be appears only uh, only when we will be on the category page so we install installed this plugin, create two short codes and in the first one widget which we are, we are using for uh, searching our products in show page or any another page, we are writing this condition. All this condition will be under this video on the page when you find this video. On the second widget, we are writing this condition. Is set request and DF is look at. It's and mine thing in the widget which will be filtering products on the category page. I mean this widget, we have to write result of book page link self, result of book with template self, customer set link right self here. Okay. With another parameters, this widget is the same as this widget, except of the self parameters and uh, uh, widget logic. So, um, what we have to do next? To make it all works, we have to add some scripts to archive product uh, in WooCommerce folder of your current them. All good WordPress them is which works uh, good with WooCommerce has such folder WooCommerce and there you can find Archive Product PHP there on the top after defining ABS path exit you have to drop this code this code you can find under this video on the page you found it and after that you have to go here and before have post the post, you have to drop this code. This code you can found on the page you found this video. And that's all. You, you have to do nothing more. You have to install this WordPress plugin, create two widgets, anyway you want the widget you have already. You have to add another widget which will be working only in categories pages and drop these conditionals to each widget. Drop these codes I just shown you and that's all and we will get the same page as here on this demo. See you! Goodbye!